Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm working somewhere in uh, North Carolina, um, climbing towers here. Let me show you the tower I just got done climbing. Yeah, it's kind of a doozy, I'm pretty tall. <laughs> anyway, I was on my way back down and I started thinking about the process that I went through when I bought my lenses for my camera. Um, I know it's kind of an odd, odd thought that came to my mind, but you know, you know, as a as a photographer, you're kind of always in the back of your mind thinking about what you need to buy next for your kit. <laughs> it gets to be a pretty, pretty spendy, pretty spendy hobby, you know. But um, I started thinking about the process that I went through when I bought my lenses and trying to save money and not spend too much money and go crazy. I I thought that might actually start to help help you kind of think about what you want to do if you're going down this direction and you're thinking about buying the next lens to carry around with you to take pictures. So um, what I did in my process is about, I don't know, about six months ago, seven months ago, I bought a, a Sony a6000 right here and uh, it came with uh, what's known as a kit lens. And this kit lens goes from 16 to 50 millimeters. And for those of you that are just starting out and just beginning photography and not sure what millimeters, you know, what a 50 millimeter lens is, I'll explain it to you real quickly. Focal length is, um, you can think about it, uh, think about zooming your camera in and out. Everybody knows what zooming in and out is. So if you're zoomed all the way in, you've got a very wide angle of view. And that is a very uh, small focal length as far as numbers, as far as millimeters. That'd be like a nine or 10 millimeter focal length is a really wide angle. And then if you have a telephoto or zoom lens or something like that, and you zoom far in and you grab something way out there, that's a larger uh, number, so like 200 millimeter. So I just thought I'd put that out there really quick so you guys can follow along with me if I don't lose you with all, all these numbers I'm gonna talk about. Length. So this lens right here goes from 16, so fairly wide, out to 50. So not quite, you know, not too far, but it will reach out there and, and you know, get something, you know, 100 feet out there or something like that. It'll allow you to, to frame up your subject. So I used that lens um, that came with my camera for about, I don't know, two or three months, something like that. And uh, really happy with it. Um, had no problems taking pictures with it, have no problems with the quality, even though a lot of people talk about how kit lenses are, uh, you know, a cheaper quality and they don't give you quite the, quite the crisp image that some other lenses will give you. But, you know, I was working on a budget, but I did realize pretty quickly that I needed a larger focal length, something that would reach, reach out there farther and, and, and you know, pull distant subjects in. So what I did was Sony made a second kit lens for their camera. And it was a 55 to 210 millimeter lens. So I went ahead. The cool thing about kit lenses like this is on the secondary market, you can get them for, you know, fairly cheaply on eBay or even Amazon, something like that, because people will eventually kind of uh, work themselves out of these lenses and get rid of them. But I, I think I paid like uh, $180 for this lens on eBay, something like that. And uh, so what I ended up with after that was I ended up with the ability to have a focal length from 60 or 16 excuse me to, to 50 and then 55 to 210 so quite a quite a uh, wide variety of focal length with these two lenses so i've been using both of these lenses now for a good two three months if that all adds up i'm not sure if it does but something like that and i've been really happy with it and actually if you go over to um, my instagram account at r underscore m underscore foster you can look at some of these examples because all of these, all of those pictures that I've taken have been with these two uh, primary kit lenses. So the natural progression of a photographer's journey is to kind of think of what lens they want to get next. You know, they have what they have and they use it and they want to either, in my case, I wanted to get a lens that would give me a sharper, crisper image, a higher quality lens so I could do what I'm doing, but just make it that much, that much better. And so I heard about the uh, Sigma trio of lenses. They have a uh, 16 millimeter and then a 30 millimeter and then a 56 millimeter. These are all what they're known as prime lenses. And, and why they're called prime is they're just stuck at that one focal length. So 16 or 30 or 56. You don't have the ability to zoom in or out with these lenses. So 
I wanted to get one of them, you know, and they're anywhere from, I think the 30 is the cheapest. I think it's 250 bucks and then it goes up to there. I think they're in between 250, $400 for these lenses, which as far as, you know, dare I say, as far as lenses go, it's kind of on the lower scale of the mid range lenses. It's not, they're, you know, they're not too expensive, but they're still a chunk of change, you know, like the, the 16 millimeter was, I think 300 and 360 bucks. And that's, that's as much as my my camera body the sony a6000 that's how much it cost when i bought that so you know it's the same value as the the camera i'm using so anyway which one was i going to get so what i did was i actually went back on all the pictures that i've taken over the last seven eight months all the keepers that i that i really like and i looked at the metadata on them in lightroom and i realized that the majority of the pictures i mean literally 80% of the pictures that I've taken, like once again, you can go on my Instagram account and you'll see um, the majority of those pictures, they're all taken at a 16 millimeter focal length. So the very widest end of my first uh, kit lens. So, so starting out in photography and not really knowing what my style was or if I had a style, I, it kind of made me come to the realization that that is part of my style. I like taking pictures at a 16 millimeter focal range, focal length. So kind of a no-brainer. If I'm going to buy one of these Sigma lenses to improve the quality of my photography, I went ahead and I got the uh, Sigma 16 millimeter, if I can pull it out here. This lens right here. Okay. So it stays at 16 millimeter. You can't zoom in or out with it. But the cool thing I like about it, and the reason I think this is a very smart decision for me, is I can go out on my little photography outings and I can just take nothing but this lens and my camera and feel comfortable in the fact that literally 75 to 80 percent of the time I'm gonna have a lens that's gonna be able to take the picture that I want to take and frame up my subject matter the way I want to frame it up. Um, the, the real cool thing I love about prime lenses is instead of sitting somewhere and zooming in and out to frame up your subject you have to actually physically walk closer or walk farther away to frame up the subject and get the picture that you want. So while you're doing that process in your mind, it's actually, as a photographer, it's helping you better see your environment and how you actually want to frame up and capture the, your subject. So anyway, that's the process I went through. Um, I hope it helps someone out. I hope you guys are watching this and going, hmm, that's actually not a bad idea. Maybe I'll go back and look, because if you go back and look at your keepers, and look at the focal range that you took your pictures in. I, I guarantee you there'll be one focal length that outweighs all the others that you're using. And, that's, and that's, that's part of your style, the way you like to take pictures. And so that might be a good starting point for you to go, well, okay, this, this is the most useful focal length that I use. So I'm gonna invest money in a quality lens at that focal length. So anyway, if you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. If you like the video, give a thumbs up. It really helped me out a lot. I'm a pretty small channel still. And uh, yeah, go check out my Instagram account. Look at the pictures and uh, let me know what you think. So anyway, until next time, ciao for now.